So, Leo, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Wands. Now, you could have been likely to have found that in any sort of competitive situation that you came out on top, things probably, probably were going really well for you at that time. And you should have been feeling good at any, if you had any projects. They were moving right along. Uh, but you probably had some regular moments of self-doubt. At that time, it would have been a bad time to have self-doubt. You would have needed to feel the, feel the fear and do whatever you, you needed to do anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make clear where you stand with people. Because your thinking would have been clear at that time. And you were likely to help someone out by spelling things out for, for them. So you're probably independent in thinking for yourself at this time. Or at a time in the past. It's paired with the Ten of Swords. Now this would have been a clear sign to be careful about where you were putting your trust. Because when the 10 it comes up, when it comes up in a reading and you're asking a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, the answer would probably be no. No, definitely not. However, try to keep in mind that whenever one door closes, another door opens. You were being guided to a situation that was much better for you. So you needed to trust yourself and in the universe at that time. Now those two cards, Ten of Swords and Seven of Wands, that's a recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Six of Cups. Now with this card, you could be nostalgic. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be but not always connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Keep that in mind. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The Six of Cups is paired with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands are probably finding that your finances, they're going much better. In fact, with the Three of Wands, um, it's almost for certain that your proverbial ship has come in, or you're going to feel that way. Um, you'll be feeling very strong with a good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands... It refers to work in a very, very positive way. Even if you work outside the home, it means that, I'm sorry, even if you don't work outside the home, if you're working indoors, it still means that you your efforts are being seen. Someone's noticing. Uh, they appreciate uh, your efforts and you're well-respected. So give yourself some credit at this time with these two cards paired together. Um, your finances, they're going to take off or they already have. They will be soon with the three of wands. Okay, you're going to feel really good. And like I said, it's going to feel like your ship has finally come in. And you probably, probably will be looking back on how things used to be like, why? Why were they not this great? Why was my, you know, you'll be, you'll be looking back wondering, not wondering, but you'll, you'll know why. You'll see the change, but um, you'll be looking back, reminiscing about how things have changed for the better. You'll be doing a lot of that. You'll, you'll be spending a lot of time, probably too much, just thinking about how things have have grown, how your finances has really improved, and you'll probably spend some time trying 
make sure you don't go back to how things or your finances were not as great. You want to continue to go forward. So that's probably why you're looking back so much at this time. Trying to make sure you don't go back. You know, because you're at a good place right now with the Three of Wands. Especially with your money. And that's, and that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Tower card. Um, trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. That can be a disaster at this time. You have to remember to roll with any changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they are no longer there in quite the same way. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to be drastic because change, it's the nature of life. And if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Keep in mind, if you've been building castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. Keep in mind, again, that's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals and fantasies if some of them fall apart at this time. Okay, so dreaming is, dreaming is important, but it's going to be important to be living in a reality too. The Tower card is paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up just for some excitement. Rethink that impulse. Find a better use of your energy because excitement can be created. The Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. This card, it gives you focus, back, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So, with the Tower card and the Page of Pinnacles as your challenge, the Tower card, something <clears throat> could come crashing down, okay? But remember to roll with that change. It's the nature of life. It uh, will probably cause you to rebuild. Okay. So keep dreaming. Uh, it, might, it will probably upset you and you'll probably want to uh, do something uh, to shake things up with other people. Okay. Because uh, something with you, it got a little sh shook or shaken. Of course, it got um, something, something got um, came down, something uh, hit the ground. If you were, like I said, if you were building castles in the air, something probably came down. Um, but, and so now, like I said, you want to shake things up with other people. Okay, so just rethink that thought. Find a better use of your energy. Just start to rebuild. Okay, um, yeah. Don't do anything to shake things up because you could lose some friends that way. Okay, just focus on whatever came down and just uh, start all over again. And don't uh, let your mind run wild with this tower card. It could be something as simple. And maybe you were trying to grow a plant, okay? You wanted to have a green thumb for 2020, and it's just not working out for you. The plant keeps keeps wilting. It keeps um, trying to hit the dust. <laughs> so, like I said, it could be something really simple. You know, you're upset because it looks like you don't have the green thumb that you always wanted. And so now you, you, you're just frustrated. You're bored with the whole thing, and you're trying to shake things up with other people so that's just an example of a tower moment so like I said I just don't want your mind to run crazy when you see the tower card okay it could be something really simple all right and this is a new year so we're thinking positive and I'm sure it is something simple okay and so that's gonna be the challenge 
And now we move on to the outcome. We have the, oh, let's see, the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords, as you can see in the picture, it looks like you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. Think things through what you're afraid of. Because the actual truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, here's the Wheel of Fortune below. Now, this kind of reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether that's good times or bad times, it's going to pass. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too. Like everything else changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, just realize that much of life is outside of our, outside of your control, but even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. Now with these two cards paired together, you're holding back because you are afraid of some situation, maybe you're afraid of getting hurt, so you're, you're, um, you're not really, uh, probably you're not really giving it your best. You just kind of like sitting tight. <laughs> you know, you just don't want to jump in or take any chances right now. Um, but uh, that's going to change. Okay, maybe with, I'm thinking with the, the success that you had at, in the present, with, the, um, with your finances taking off, um, you're going to realize that um, you could do a whole lot with the money that uh, you've earned and um, like I said with the success in finances that you've earned in the present so with the will of fortune there you're not going to you're going to stop holding back and realize that you're you're blessed okay and that you don't have a reason to hold back and fear anything because um, now is the time to push forward and move ahead, okay? Because it's a new year. And if you hold back now, you probably will hold back uh, for the rest of the year. And you know that you don't want to do that. And that's why we have the Wheel of Fortune. Everything changes. Everything is going to turn around in your favor. Uh, whatever you're experiencing, and whatever that tower moment was, you're going to let that go. Okay, well, if it was something little and simple, you you just gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna let it hold you down, okay? And if um, whatever's got you feeling like you just want to hold back, you fear moving into to the future, the wheel of fortune could say, "Oh, that's changing. It's gonna change sooner than you think." So uh, just I want to say, hang in there, but there's really no need because the wheel of fortune, the wheel is about to turn, and it's it's turning fast so you'll be okay um that's a really good outcome that will of fortune because uh whatever's got you with those um swords those eight of swords it's turning around faster than you know and it's for the better okay so that's going to be the outcome so, Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day and happy 2020. Happy New Year. Please check out the homepage of my YouTube channel. There's a video that is um, a free giveaway. It's really nice. I'm giving away to my subscribers a su subscriber appreciation gift um, brand new I purchased some things for you guys so I'm going to try to do more giveaways so check that out and you just have to subscribe hit the notification so so that you'll be um, in on the giveaway and the giveaway is today actually so um, the video will explain more so it's on the home page of my YouTube channel the video okay and thank you so much have a great day